welcome to lecture series of engineering graphics and design myself ankur patel and today in this fourth session of engineering course we are going to discuss methods to construct parabola and hyperbola so today in parabola we will discuss three methods first is rectangle method then after we will discuss parabola and parallelogram then after we will discuss tangent method in hyperbola we will discuss two methods first is rectangular hyperbola or hyperbola with rectangle method and second is foci and vertices method to construct the hyperbola so let's move on to rectangle method to construct the parabola so the content of the problem is given here construct the parabola if base is 80 mm axis length is 50 mm so the given data is base 80 axis length 50 mm now it is a rectangle method so first of all we have to draw a rectangle having length 80 mm and width 50 mm so draw a rectangle having length 80 mm width 50 mm after drawing the rectangle now we have to show the base and the axis of the parabola so this ab will be the base of the parabola and to show the axis first of all we have to find out the midpoint of the base ab so this will be the midpoint of the base ab which is at a distance of 40 mm from point a and 40 mm from point b after showing the midpoint now draw a line perpendicular to the base from this point so this ov will be the axis of the parabola now after showing the base and the axis we have to divide the side of the rectangle into equal number of divisions let's say that divide this side into four equal number of divisions so divide it 1 2 3 4 four divisions so you can use this scale to divide this length into equal number of divisions or you can use inclined line method to divide a line and if you want to know how to divide a line into equal number of divisions then uh, watch my video on geometric construction the link of the video is given in the description so must watch because it is going to be useful in the in today's session so let's move on so now as we have divided this line into four equal number of divisions we have to divide this ao length into four equal divisions also so divide into four equal number of divisions 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 now as we have divided this length and this length into four equal number of divisions we have to divide this length and this length into four equal divisions also so divide it into four equal number of divisions 1 4 5 6 7 8 4 5 6 7 8 after dividing or after taking the divisions now connect these points that is 0 1 2 3 4 2 v so connect this point 0 2 v 1 2 v 2 2 v 3 2 v also connect this point 2 v v8 v7 v6 v5 now from this point 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 draw lines parallel to the line of the axis that means we have to draw lines parallel to line ov so from one draw a line parallel to ov and up to v1 line 2 up to v2 line 3 up to v3 line and mark the points this is p0 p1 p2 p3 and this will be p4 also draw lines parallel to vo from 5 6 7 so 5 to get the intersection at v5 6 from to get the intersection at v6 from 7 also draw line parallel to vo to get the intersection at v7 now mark the intersection point p5 p6 p7 and this will be our p8 now after marking the points draw a free and curve passing through these points p0 p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 and that curve will be a parabola with rectangle method now let's move on to next method parabola in parallelogram 
So construct the parabola in parallelogram if the base is 80 mm and axis length is 50 mm. Take included angle of parallelogram as 60 degree. So the key one data is base 80 mm and axis 50 mm and included angle is 60 degree. So first of all draw the base of the parabola at an angle of 30 degree from the horizontal baseline and having length equal to 80 mm. So AB will be the base of the parabola. Now from point A draw a line perpendicular to this horizontal baseline and having length equal to 50 mm. So this angle will be 60 degree which is included angle of the parabola. Now from point B draw a line parallel to this line and having length equal to 50 mm. So this length and this length will be 50 mm. Now connect these two points will be the parallelogram having side length 80 and 50 mm and included angle is equal to 60 degree. After drawing the parallelogram, now first of all we have to show the base and axis of the parabola. So this AB will be the base of the parabola and from the midpoint of the AB draw a line parallel to this line will be the axis of the parabola. So OB will be the axis of the parabola. So after showing the base and the axis, now apply the same method that we have applied in the rectangle method. So divide this line into equal number of divisions. Let's say 4 equal divisions. This length into 4 equal number of divisions. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This length into 4 equal number of divisions. 1, 2, 3, 4 and this length into 4 equal number of divisions 5, 6, 7, 8. So after dividing this, this, this and this length into 4 equal number of divisions, now connect this point to V that means 0 to V, 1 V, 2 V, 3 V and from this point 1, 2, 3. Draw lines parallel to the line of the axis. So from 1 draw a line parallel to the axis up to v1 line to or to get the intersection at v1 line from 2 draw a line parallel to the line of the axis up to v2 line from 3 also draw a line and mark the intersection points p0 p1 p2 p3 this will be p4 now apply the same method over here also connect this 4 5 6 7 8 to v and from 5 6 7 8 draw lines parallel to VO and to get the intersection at V5, V6, V7, V8 respectively. So draw lines parallel to VO line from 5, 6, 7 and mark the intersection points P5, P6, P7 and this will be P8. Now draw a free hand curve passing through P0, P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7 and P8 will be the parabola in parallel gram. Now let's move on to next method, tangent method to construct the parabola. So construct the parabola if base is 80 mm and axis height is 50 mm. So the given data is base 80 mm, axis height 50 mm. So first of all draw the base having length 80 mm, base BC, length 80 mm and from the midpoint of the base BC draw a line perpendicular to BC and having length twice than the length of the axis. So draw a line from point O having length equal to 100 mm. Mark this point A. Now connect AB and AC. After connecting AB and AC, now divide AB into equal number of divisions. You can use inclined line method to divide a line. So let's say that divide AB into 8 number of divisions. So divide into 8 equal number of divisions. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now as we have divided AB into 8 equal number of divisions, we have to divide AC into 8 equal number of divisions also. So divide it into 8 equal number of divisions. But now here we have to give the numbering starting from A. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now connect 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3, 4 to 4, 5 to 5, 
six to six, seven to seven. You can see here the shape of the parabola. So just uh, darken the shade, you will get the parabola with tangent matter. And uh, this will be the axis side of the parabola, which is fifty mm, and it is given. Now let's move on to methods to construct the hyperbola. So the first method is rectangular hyperbola, and the given contain is point P is 40 mm and 30 mm from horizontal and vertical axis respectively. Horizontal means x-axis and vertical means y-axis. Draw hyperbola passing through this point P. So the given data is point P, which is 30 mm on x-axis and 40 mm on y-axis. So first of all, draw x-axis. And y-axis, we should be perpendicular to each other. Mark the origin over here, and from the origin, measure 40 mm on y-axis and draw a horizontal line. From the origin, measure 30 mm on x-axis and draw a vertical line. The intersection point of this horizontal and vertical line will give us point P, which is 40 mm from x-axis and 30 mm from y-axis. Now, in between y-axis and point P on this line. Mark divisions. Let's say two divisions. One, two. Over here also mark some divisions. Let's say three, four, five. Now connect this point one, two, three, four, five to origin, and extend these lines up to the horizontal and vertical lines. Mark these points. This is one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, and five dash. Now from one to draw a line parallel to y-axis. So draw a line parallel to y-axis, and from one dash and two dash draw a line parallel to x-axis. So draw a line parallel to x-axis. From th three dash, four dash, five dash also draw lines parallel to y-axis, and from three, four, five draw lines parallel to x-axis and mark the intersection points. This will be P one, P two. This is P. P3, P4, and P5. Now draw a free end curve passing through these points. Will be the rectangular hyperbola. Now let's move on to next method to construct the hyperbola. So hyperbola by foci and vertices method. It is also known as arc of the circle method to construct the hyperbola. So the contain is two fixed points are 50 mm apart. Draw the curve traced out by point P moving in a plane such that the difference between its distances from fixed points is always constant and equal to 20 mm. Now, as we know that the fixed points are the focus point, so the distance between two focus points that are F1 and F2 will be 50 mm, and at a distance of 20 mm, we will mark vertex point. That means the distance between two vertex point will be 20 mm. So, first of all, draw horizontal and vertical line. And from the vertical line, measure 25 mm on both side, and mark focus points F1 and F2. So the total distance between F1 and F2 will be 50 mm. Now from this vertical line on both side, at a distance of 10 mm, mark the vertex point V1 and V2. So the total distance between V1 and V2 will be 20 mm. After marking focus and vertex, now from vertex, sorry. From focus point F1 on the right side, mark divisions. Let's say that mark three divisions having random length. Now, after marking these divisions, measure V1 to one distance on the round arc, or measure the arc length of V1 to one, and give an arc from focus point F1 as a center. So, give an arc on both side, and also give an arc from focus point F2 on both side. Having arc length equal to v1 to 1. Now measure v2 to one distance on the rounder, or v2 to one arc length on the rounder, and give an arc from focus point F2 over here, which will give us the intersection over here, and give an arc from the focus point F1. We will get the intersection point over here. Mark these points P1, P1 dash. Now measure v1 to two length on the rounder. And give an arc from the focus point on both side. Focus point F2 on both side, having arc length v1 to 
Now measure V2 to distance on the rounder and give an arc from focus point F2 to get the intersection over here, over here and F1 to get the intersection over here, over here and having arc length is equal to V2 to 2. Mark this point P2, P2 dash on both side. Now measure V1 to 3 distance on the rounder and give an arc from the focus point F1 on both side having arc length equal to V2, V1 to 3 on both side having arc length equal to V1 to 3. Now measure V2 to 3 on the rounder and give an arc from the focus point F, F2 to get the intersection over here on both side over here and give an arc from focus point F1 on both side to get the intersection point over here and mark this point P3 and P3 dash on both side and then after draw the free end curve passing through these points will, will give us the hyperbola. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching. In our next lecture, we will come with some more problems of engineering course. Till then, take care.